Hey boys and girls, this is Corbin. If you do not know who I am, I am one of the leaders at um, at Club from Local Life Church. And what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is freedom. Alright? Now, we all know what freedom is. Freedom is to do anything without restraint or vibe. Alright? And to maintain this freedom within the country, we use laws to keep control. And some go for our parents, all right? We're kids, we don't know anything. Our parents, guardians, we, we don't know a lot. So we need teachers, we need guys, and we need people to protect us. We're vulnerable, all right? And even with, with all these, um, we all have choices, all right? Well, we make a choice almost every day whether we just want to lay in the bed, want to put on clothes, eat, etc. All right. Now, these choices are heavily impactful. All right. Some people don't shed too much light on it. Some do. Okay. And I'm saying that cho choices are a real big thing. Okay. It, it, it limits how we feel to be 100. 100 okay. So say this, for example, you want to do this, right? But you know this needs to be done, but you'll feel comfortable if this gets done, okay? So you do what you want to do, you come back later, that the other thing bites you in the butt. Homework, for example. Now, God tells us to do things, and we have the choice to either listen or ignore. It's not. It's not a big deal. I mean, when you just don't listen, God will do this with his. He'll do this with his hand. All right. Be blunt. He's gonna, he, he gonna take his hand away, but, and you are gonna feel that he, uneasiness. You're like, it's not comfortable. But these choices are heavily impactful to our life, and without them, we can't. Get closer to God, <laughs> but God is merciful, so and he and he loves he loves us all. This brings me to the story of um, Jonah. Jonah was um, sent to Nineveh, right? He didn't want to go. He made the choice. He did not want to go. No, he's terrified, terrified of the people. He wanted them to die. God told him that they were going to die. He needed. He want. He wanted them to die. All right now, God didn't like that. Oh, look. Jonah ran away from him. He went on the boat and tried to run. Can't run from God, by the way. Don't don't try. I've never, I'm not trying to either. But um, went on the boat and storm. It was storming real bad. It was waves, real big, and it's like somebody's running from God. I don't know. Throw, threw him in the water, all right? Whale eats him, all right? He's in that well for three days, three nights. He's praying. He wants to be out of that well, all right? Now, he eventually does get out the well, and he goes to Nineveh, shares it. He shares the prophecy, saves, saves the place, okay? Now, easy, simple. He had a choice to make. He didn't make the right choice. Pray, pray, figured things out, repented, and he went and got his job done. Brings us here, and it brings us to our lesson: freedom. Without without the choices we make, we limit our freedom. With we limit our freedom, and um. Dog's crying, but um, without the, making the right choice, it limits our freedom. God does this. If you're uneasy and that, that's not a free feeling. That, that's not a free. Fe that is not a free feeling. It's not a free feeling. It's isolating. And it's desolate. But Lord is merciful. We repent. And he forgives. All right.
Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for coming to the club. Love you guys. Praying. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day.